I think it's a good idea to have goats down there, you know. It takes out all the OHS issues, you know. They can be managed, you know. They, they go with that terrain, you know. It's all European weed, you know. It's, it's all European weed, so why not use um, <laughs> European weed cattle that's mobile, which turns into fertiliser, which, you know, it's got to be all right. Thanks, Dale McDonald, a neighbour and friend here in Southern Jarra mother country. Dale's a Gundi Jamara man and Jabarong man and uh, has Scottish heritage as well. So this plant here, gorse, comes from Europe. Um, it's very well known in Scotland where uh, they're actually trialling it for human food at the moment. Today's talk though is not uh, selling the uh, protein possibilities of gorse for human consumption but actually for goat consumption and to talk about this plant in, uh, in a complex uh, ecological story. So this is um, in Victoria, there are around 19 uh, bird species that use gorse as a habitat and food. So it's a high habitat value plant. There is also a really great film made by our friends Happen Films called Fools and Dreamers that look at the virtues of uh, gorse as a nurse plant to regrow ecologies, to regrow forests. So we're not haters of gorse, although it is a um, fire enhancing plant especially when it's uh, dry around steep gullies and uh, gorse infested areas around here parks victoria spray it uh, it dies and for the next few years it's a very um, serious fire threat so having goats eat the gorse uh, is good for a number of reasons. They do it slowly, step by step, which means birds and other fauna species can adapt and, and get out of the road or move. They tend to eat in winter, the gorse, when the blackberry has rust in it. Our goats love blackberry most of the year, but um, the blackberry has rust in it and the leaves aren't very nutritious at the moment. So they move into the gorse because the gorse provides them incredible warmth, thermal mass, uh, to be in these sheltered uh, areas while they eat slowly, uh, eat um, this very prickly um, plant. So there are not, there are not uh, nesting birds in winter in the gorse, so the disturbance of uh, other uh, species is low or limited. So goats also make it more possible for uh, humans to get in with hand tools and do some chopping and dropping as well. So this uh, big gorse patch here on the southern end of, or the southwestern end of a neighborhood of about 30 different households is a fire risk. And we have been managing gorse and blackberry and broom in this area using hand tools and goats for a number of years. and we've. Um, Happen Films did a film about us doing that and but we haven't really spoken about gorse. Yeah so let's go and see what the goats have been doing here on the corner. Over about several weeks uh, there's only three goats. They're boar goats which are meat goats, much more hardy, much more exploratory in terms of their food, less fussy. We don't supplement, uh, supplement their feeding, we just make sure they've got a good variety of nutritious weed plants such as gorse and blackberry and broom and lots of different grasses, thistles, sow thistles, uh, dandelion, a whole lot of uh, weeds and grasses. So they have an exceptional diet. Um, we get the benefits of having meat that's only produced from weeds and uh, so there's a, a closed loop system there. Their manure is highly useful to ecologies uh, and particularly for regrowing grasslands. We're hoping to get this land into a state where uh, indigenous burns could take place on this land. But at the moment with um, high fuel loads such as this, it's just, uh, it would be a bit dodgy, particularly close to housing. So let's go and have a look what they've been doing over the last several weeks and uh, you can judge for yourself.
the goats like the mature plants, but they also love the seeds. So they will radically reduce the seed uh, bank in an environment. Uh, because they've got four stomachs, they don't spread the seeds like horses do. They, the fermentation process through the four stomach chambers um, reduces huge amounts of the seed load. So they, they mitigate weed species by going after their flowers. The other thing about gorse is it's 17% protein. So it's like an incredible food for animals. They're not just eating it because uh, it's here and we're making them eat it. They're eating it because they know that it's a really good source of protein and a really good source of nutrition. Yeah, this is, this is farming without industrial inputs. This is farming commons without any uh, um, legitimacy. Um, luckily, council turned a blind eye to what we're doing here because they can see the management benefits. And even if they wanted to engage with us, they couldn't because there's so much government red tape. There's so much uh, health and safety risks and uh, so many barriers uh, to that would be in that would get in the road of being able to do this as simply as we are doing it. All the major solutions or responses to the predicament of the times that we live in are um, slow and small solutions and uh, working with and understanding each environment, not moving in with pesticides and bulldozers and disturbing soil, constantly putting ecologies back at stage one, but actually mitigating biologically, slowly, step by step with simple tools and animals, build, building relationships between tools and animals and into, into being really, um, and seeing what your animals like to eat, seeing uh, the effects in the ecology and watching that, observing and interacting. These are all um, incredibly useful permaculture principles and not going into an ecology with a domination mindset, but actually um, what is Mother Country requesting? What is she, what is she up for? And what is what are the negative feedbacks? We can listen to her uh, and accept the feedback and have some humility in accepting the feedback because we make mistakes as human beings all the time. And it's really important that we fess up to that. Mr. Fauci, <laughs> but not you girl, not you girl, you're, you're in your retirement. This is Bengals. Just the way she does that. Got like full on spikes in these plants. <laughs>